Hello viewers, welcome back to another episode and as I said in the last episode I've got some other machines now and um, in, the, in some further videos uh, I want to show the machines in detail and this will be the first video where I will show the Alpha Server DS10 and I want to start with that machine because that machine has pre-installed VMS 7.3 and I do not need additional hardware and other things that I have to do to uh, bring it back to life. So um, the Alpha Server 800 uh, I have as well. Um, I need some parts for that machine and I want to do it in, the, in my cluster and that takes a while. So I will show that machine later and that's the reason why I start with the Alpha Server DS10. Let's start with the front here. On the front is uh, a CD-ROM drive and a floppy drive and a written batch Alpha Server DS10. And here, lower side is a start as an off button, C halt button, power LED, hard drive LED, LED for some faults, and the batch. And I don't know if you can see this. This is a 600 megahertz version of the Alpha Server DS10, but the CPU runs with 670 megahertz. We will see later because uh, I want to show the machine uh, the beginning from the outside and then from the inside, and then I will start the machine uh, like I did with the uh, Workstation 4000 VLC as well. And uh, under the machine, you can see also uh, my new Itanium server. I will make a separate video about this Itanium server. Um, it's, it's an HP Integrity RX uh, 2620. Also with VMS installed on it, that's the reason because VMS is running on that machine that I will show that machine here below in a separate video uh, soon. Yeah, let's go to the back. Um, you can also see this is a desktop version. Um, there, if you can, can remove these, these plastic parts here and you need, I think you need a new top cover, then it's the same size like, uh, like a rack machine. You can see it's, um, after removing these the parts on the, on the sides, it fits also in a rack, so it's not or it's a desktop version, and let's go now to the back. Here are some connectors. In contrast to the VEC stations, this is quite like a standard PC from that time. So that machine was released in 1999. So it's not from DEC, it's from Compaq, because DEC was bought by Compaq in 1998. So this is a Compaq machine. And on the back we can see here are two Ethernet ports. This is a fast Ethernet, 110 megabit. Then it's a parallel port, two USB ports, to a serial port and the port, port one can be used as a console. I think the second one as well, but I did not try it out. I tried only the first one. And then here's a connector for keyboard and mouse. And here are two expansion cards. And this is a graphics card with a standard VGA port. So um, this machine is written on the front as Alpha Server DS10, but uh, I use it as um, Alpha Station DS10. And I think the only difference between Alpha Server and Alpha Station is that there is uh, a graphics card installed in an Alpha Station, uh, and there is no license difference between Alpha Station and Alpha Server. So uh, on uh, Alpha, there aren't these different license types, like on VEX, where you need a different license for a VEX Station and a different license for VEX, um, for VEX Server. Uh, that's not the license. Uh, that's the not the. Uh, way of licensing an alpha machine, there's only type A licenses and then you need to use a license and that's for interactive uh, login uh, and that's the reason why uh, there is no difference, I think, between an alpha server and an alpha station than uh, on hardware side, these graphics card. And on top there is also a uh, SCSI card, this is a differential SCSI card, HVD, um, but this wasn't original in that machine. I take it apart from the alpha server 800 and uh, put it in that machine for testing purpose. So that's the machine from the outside. Now I will open the machine, open the cover, and let's have a look inside that machine. So what's inside? This is the inside of the machine. And um, the interesting detail is that this machine has an IDE hard drive, so no SCSI hard drive. There's no onboard SCSI controller, but there is an onboard IDE controller for the hard drive and also for the CD-ROM drive, which is located here. And here, this is standard floppy with the standard 34-pin floppy cable. So also, all those ins, it looks quite like a PC from that era. This here is, is the CPU under the cooler, and this is, uh, CPU is an EV67, and um, this is a newer version. The 466 megahertz version has the older processor called EV6, 
and the EV67 is also called Alpha 21264A and the A uh, has a new feature is, uh, there is uh, the first this is the first alpha with the count extension and the 466 uh, megahertz version did not have this feature so this is the standard memory it's also standard memory um, it's 1 gigabyte of memory to 512 megabyte modules and here is an extension card with the two controllers and this is a 32 bit pci controller and uh, down there is a 32-bit PCI controller. The uh, three slots on the top are 64-bit PCI slots and the lower, uh, lower um, extension slot is only 32-bit. So there's only, both are 32-bit cards. And of course it's a newer system and I really like, I really like it. Uh, this is no, uh, this, there's no nickel cadmium battery inside like on the older Wexes, which can leak. This is also the Dallas timing module and it's not uh, soldered in, it's on this slot. You can uh, yeah, change this module quite easy when the internal battery is empty. So it's, uh, there cannot be uh, any damage from the, from a leaking battery like on the older machines. And that's the whole machine. It's not quite spectacular, not so spectacular like Vexus because it's uh, more a common design and uh, it's nothing special inside. So let's turn the machine on. It takes a while until we get a picture and this monitor has an issue. There's a white frame but the frame will disappear after a time and now the system is initializing and did some self-tests and this is we know it from the wax we can enter some commands and with show devices we can see the devices of that machine and this monitor is connected via VGA and I've connected to PS2, mouse and keyboard. I did not have a PS2, mouse and keyboard at home, so uh, I had to go to my parents' place and ask them if they uh, have such a keyboard, such a mouse. They did have a PS2, mouse and keyboard and uh, I could connect the mouse and the keyboard to that machine. So we are seeing here the devices. The naming is quite equal like on the VEX. We can see the devices DQA0, DQB0 and, and so on. Uh, DQA and DQB are the EDE buses. And Alpha um, has uh, also uh, some longer names with these uh, dots in the middle. So the device DQA0 is also called DQA0.0.13.0. And this is the hard drive in the machine. So we can boot and from the device DQA0 and now the machine is starting. Uh, we can also uh, connect um, um, a console to the machine to start the machine and uh, work with the console. So like you can see the starting of OpenVMS, it's version 7.3-2. Uh, it's from 2003, so it's written from, uh, yeah, so it's a copyright is a uh, Packard, not Compact or DEC. And now we will ask the date and time, and today is the 10th of August. Ah, 10th of August, this is a German keyboard, and it, but an American keyboard setting, so you have to use other keys. It's the, but today is the 10th of August 2024, and it is 54 minutes past 12 a.m. Oh, it's p.m.? I don't know. We have 24 hours, not this thing with 2 times 12 hours. It's 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. midnight, I don't know. Um, it's six minutes, 6 minutes before 1 p.m., that's right. Yeah, um, yeah. and um, the console on, on, on the Alpha is, has this nice blue color we can see on the bottom it's the OpenVMS i4 operator console and it takes a while until the whole system starts and uh, later we will see the typical starting process of VMS.
And now you can see the login screen from Deck Windows Motive. And on the uh, more modern versions of Deck Windows Motive on Alpha, there is a new uh, graphical user interface. So the graphical user interface of this Deck Windows Motive is a different one than uh, I showed you on my Workstation 4000 VLC. And we can also log in via console as well. And um, depending on the licenses, but here is a big uh, package of uh, OpenVMS user license installed. So um, I can uh, log in on that deck windows motive login screen, but I can also log in via console in parallel or via telnet. So you can use it uh, as a time sharing machine. So we can log in and because I have to look this, because this American keyboard setting, username and password, and it's called the new desktop for OpenVMS. And it looks a bit different, so you can you have four different desktops here. Um, and some applications are down here. I talk, you can see the time and the date, stuff like that, and here are some applications. Help. Manager, etc., etc., and you also have the console, and it works with typical commands. We can enter there. Uh, we can also enter show net, and we can see the, the IP address. It says no decknet installed on that machine, only TCP IP service. And because I do not have um, installation media for Alpha at the moment, uh, I cannot install decknet on that machine but I think that will change in a few weeks so I can uh, install DECnet as well on that machine. But um, the TCP IP service um, in this modern version um, supports uh, uh, SSH as well. So um, this machine is an um, SSH uh, server and I can connect with any SSH client. I, do, uh, I, uh, did not, uh, I do not need uh, Telnet for the purpose like on my WEXs. So, Let's have a look what is what we can do on that machine. This are these are the application manager. And here are typical applications we know from Deck Windows Motive. The main application, for example, looks quite similar to the old version. The uh, difference between the old and the new desktop is here on the bottom. Um, this new uh, taskbar or whatever we will call that thing here on the bottom is the big difference. The applications are the same and they work the same like uh, the Deck Windows um, version without the new desktop. Let's call it the old Deck Windows for OpenVMS as we saw on the Vex machine. Yeah, that is the Deck Windows and you can also shut down the machine from here or lock off. I don't know how to log off. I think it's exit. This is the lockout button. Yeah, this is the lockout button. Continue logout. And we will see the screen, the login screen again. Yeah, that's the, this was the video on my uh, Alpha Server DS10 and uh, on my, uh, on the new Deck Windows Motive, the new desktop um, of Deck Windows Motive for VMS. And I will make some other hardware videos on my new machines as well soon. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, leave comments below and see you in the next video.